From our very beginning as America, we stood firm in these words of truth that began our beloved Constitution. We the people of the United States. It does not say we the government of the United States. Our founders knew it was our people that hold the keys to our success. As Americans, we stand at our most dangerous crossroads of our country's history. No other time have we had enemies so deeply entrenched in our society, in our government, and in our towns. Only now in American history do we have forces of evil that want to fundamentally transform what has truly made America the last bastion of hope for freedom left on earth. As Americans, we know we have overcome evil before. We have inherited something the rest of the world can only dream of and most could never imagine. The true American spirit, our ability to put everything aside and band together to overcome any obstacle. With a God-given resolve to call evil by its name and not cower in fear. This is the time we must call upon our faith and depend on that same divine providence our founding fathers did at the time of our nation's birth. We must once again pledge to each other our lives, our fortunes, and our sacred honor. The very future of America depends on it. Or do we as a nation just let our children bear the burden of our sins with the price of slavery? America can overcome. We can place all of our petty differences aside and let the greatness of America shine from sea to shining sea. We as Americans are given a goodness we can openly see any time that there is a national crisis or someone else in need. At no other time have we ever depended so heavily on our government to provide all of the answers and our solutions. In America, we have always relied on our American pioneering spirit. We as a citizen responsibility to take care of each other, so the government has not got such a controlling power in the lives of free men. We fix America by returning to who we truly are. The way we roll back the overreaching arm of government is to stop depending on it to supply our every need. We need be who it is we were born to be, the person God made us to be, using our God-given gifts to the best of our ability. If we once again become an encouragement to all of those around us, reaching out to strangers in need, letting people know that they are not alone, we can once again replenish the light of liberty and restore the hope for America.